Welcome on Dronebird's YouTube channel. This is the Multi Rotor Basic Series Part 3 Buy or Build. I remember the time when I decided to have a quadcopter. I had started doing some Google search and find the big question which is the better for me? Buy a ready to fly kind of aircraft and I can actually fly really out of the box with that so can save significant time or uh, I may can choose the other option to build one which is yes a time-consuming uh, option uh, let me help you decide which is the better for you let me just review first what are the pros if you would like to build one it's definitely an experimental learning and the biggest advantage of this if you will have any kind of crash and you can be sure that you will have you can just easily uh, be able to repair that because you actually build that so you know all the parts you know all the know-hows how you can put it together you can add anything to it you can change the motors to have a stronger one you can change the size of the propellers if you would like to get a different thrust by those the picture is just an example so you do not need to do the same building against buying a uh, flying aircraft is definitely requires more time but for example you can buy a kit which means that the all the parts are pre-matched so you do not need to do maths behind that which motor fits into which frame into which proper or into which uh, ESC it just actually simplify your situation and also can be a cost-effective way to start in many cases when you buy a ready-to-fly quadcopter you will not have the chance to change the main parameters of that because it is given by the manufacturer and you can just fly with that but if you build one you will know how to change the main parameters which could be the time uh, how many minutes you can uh, spend flying the distance how far you can fly and the weight lift which defines whether you have enough trust to put a camera and a gimbal onto your aircraft if you build your own quad you will have the chance to change any of the main parts based on your need for example you would like to use a uh, longer propeller so based on that you can just buy a longer arm and just replace that I can list some cons for the building uh, actually when you build a quad the main focus is not how it looks like but how it works whether it will fly or not and what kind of main fly parameters it will have later on you can have the right parts to have a nice looking uh, aircraft as well I think this point is really straightforward if you decide to build one it requires more time than just buy one but here is the video series you are watching and it will save time for you yes and <laughs> that's a strange point and you need to be aware of that that it is pretty sure that you will make some mistakes which will be costly but this is how it works so don't worry about that okay so let's just review how it looks like from buy perspective so let's start with the first pro which is really a better design so you will get a nice looking quadcopter most probably it depends on the price itself but uh, in many cases you will have a better design experiment when you buy one in many cases beginners start thinking about this hobby because they saw somebody flew with a quadcopter or a multi-rotor uh, in that case I think the better way if you can start with a cheaper and smaller quadcopter for example what you can see on the screen uh, and just check what you feel when you're flying and whether you would like to go deeper so spend more time and more money on the hobby the biggest advantage is when you would like to buy a quadcopter that you can buy a ready to fly one which means that you will have everything what you need to start flying because it was pre-matched, pre-built and no any, any additional actions need to be taken so right out of the box you can fly and enjoy flying and yes there are many cons when you would like to buy one against build one because if you buy one you will know nothing about your aircraft so whenever you will have a crash most probably you will not be able to repair that 
and for example when you would like to get a longer flight time you will not know which battery fits to your plane so you do not know how to extend that pretty much the design is created to be able to uh, use the parts which is provided by the manufacturer so at that point you will have limited options also please subscribe feel free to share these videos and do not forget to raise any questions or comments thank you for your attention